I'm wondering where my my co-host has gone. Ah, uh, Bana, they need to bring back my co-host. He was so cute. He's called Effa, right? Yeah, yeah Effa. And I'm going to introduce my guests right now. They were the parents to that handsome young man we saw right there. Uh, in studio with me, I have Winnie Njeri and Evans Muthua. And uh, Karibuni sana to the both of you. Thank it's you. good to have you here. Thank you. We want to talk about... Uh, building sustainable marriages and tips for saving your marriage and um, happily after ever after is a great ending you know that we see in the movies yes. and in Disney World yeah. and in all these romantic comedies but in real life every marriage has its challenges it has its ups and its downs and both partners really have to be committed to working through inevitable conflicts and differences and so you know, marriage is not easy. You know, the people who are out there pressuring you to get married or even you think as long as you're not married, like your life doesn't mean anything, uh -uh. breaks. <laughs> marriage is not easy. And I think uh, my guest in studio will be able to testify of that this morning. Yes. And so as much as love is the foundation to a happy, romantic relationship, mapenzi yeah. siki lucky too. <laughs> I'm True or false? <laughs> True. <laughs> True. Karibuni <laughs> sana to the show. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Now, Winnie, I understand you're a huge fan of Full Circle with Joyce. Yes. And you wrote in saying that you wanted to come on here and share your story with us. Yes. And, um, and so it's an honor for me to yeah. actually interview one of our fans today. Yes. Gotta love this show for that. <laughs> um, Asante sana for that. Yeah. Now, what, what, what is it that you wanted to come on here and share? Um, <coughs> um, I wanted to share how how things can happen, and even if the uh, expectation of marriage in people's lives sometimes the expectation is very high, but uh, things can change, and you find yourself it's not what you are you are expecting, mm. but uh, in a godly way things work out because of god mm -hmm. yes all right yes. so mr evans yes. tell us a bit about how you met this beautiful lady <laughs> then kidogo you got married you know tell us a bit about your story with her um we, i met with the uh, winnie in a in a friend's uh, occasion it was a graduation occasion okay for one of our friends and um, that the, the the first thing i saw about her was her hair the, the hair was my verse it was out of this world. Hey, salon ni muhimu. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so I could uh, she was she was seated right uh, in, in front of me. Mm -hmm. And I made a decision that uh, I, I, I even if I don't touch this hair, hey. I'll have to talk to the owner. <laughs> so after the after the after the graduation, uh, I had the courage to approach her. Yeah. And I, the, 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 first, the first thing that hit me was uh, she was very, very friendly, very social, very welcoming. Yeah. In fact, uh, you could have thought that we had met uh, many, 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 many days, <laughs> for yeah. many days. But that for the, the first day, in fact, we even walked for about, uh, about five kilometers together. Wow. Just chatting and chatting and talking. On and the talking. first day? On the first day. Wow. So it's so funny, though, that mm. you, you were really attracted by her hair, considering you keep yours quite... Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember what hairstyle he had on that day? Um, he had a short hair. No, you. Yeah, mine. I had a, just my push back hair. Yeah. My the, without a, a weave or anything. Oh, it was the, just your hair. Uh, my natural hair. And it was a wrong hair. It, nice. It's, it's up, up down here. Oh, yeah. So okay. It's, it was looking good. It was looking good. Mm. Yes. All right. All right. <laughs> Good to know. Mm. So I'm sure there are days you watch it for him to see it like yes, that, right? Yes. <laughs> and you must get very happy yeah, by yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you met and initially it seemed like this was it. In yes. many ways you could have almost said it was love at first sight. Yes, so you're yes, taking yeah. kilometers yes. of yeah. walks. Karibu mwanza kukuwa uko kipchoge na nani. Walking, you know, for five kilometers. Okay, you didn't go But you know what I mean? Like you were already in that zone, already um, mm. yeah. connecting to a certain yeah. level. Yeah. So then after that you uh, pursued her some more yes um uh, after 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 um, after she uh, after we she, she 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 went to her home i realized that i i had not taken her contact mm. so i had the courage again to go and uh, to, to go to her home and i uh, look for her mother 
so that uh, she could she could give me her number Why? because uh, by that time she, had, she she had already gone back to town she was living with her sister you were a bold man you went Very, to her mother yes 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 because because i had told god father give me this woman ai wanaume story njai atutaki jokes the guy went to the mom this yes. is on day 2 uh, it was about uh, like a week a month like a week like a week later ai. on a weekend Wow, when you heard this story afterwards, what did that make you feel? I was like, he went to my mom. <laughs> <laughs> I was not expecting him to go to my mom at the first time, so I was like, what? But my mom told me that's a good man. Yeah. 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 Okay, so you found her, started dating. Yes. Then you got married, yes. you got together. When yes. was that that you that, got married? That was around 2016. 2016. Yes. Yeah. Okay, okay. And no, no, 2006. 2006. 2006. 2006. Okay, so now you're married. This is the woman of your dreams mm. with the long beautiful hair. Mm. This is your knight in shining armor yeah. charging to your parents <laughs> just to get your phone number. Yeah. And now you've set off on marriage. Yeah. What were the first few months like um what was the start of your marriage like? Oh. um yeah we can go with you any yeah it was beautiful we had it we we could communicate we could talk it it was fun yeah yeah okay and so at some point though it sounds like you guys then ran into some challenges yeah what happened uh we we stopped communicating we could after some time after like a near and we we could not talk This is a year into your relationship. Yeah. Okay. We could not talk. We, we could just come, he's quiet. We are not talking to each other. There is nothing. Uh <coughs> it went like that and like that. Everything was now things have changed. No, it's not the man that I saw the first time. Mm. And we, it was so sad to me and I could not even ask him what is going on. Mm-hmm. So I kept sinking down mm-hmm. and feeling the pain and wondering what is happening and uh, I tried to ask him what is happening all but he could not even talk to me what was yeah what was the and uh, the issue okay yes even what was going on with you at that time i think uh, what came in between us was uh, number one uh, ego the, the the male ego mm and number two expectations i think my my expect my expectation was too high mm-hmm. because um i had been uh, brought up in a, in a, in a, in, a, in a scenario where the man the man almost is, is supposed to be worshiped mm. uh, when nikikohoa unaitika that kind of <laughs> that yeah. kind of uh, background mm. and uh, so i had not i had not i had not um, I, i i had not been exposed to a scenario where you can you can you can have a woman who is who is supposed to be equal with you right you, you know I, so i started looking down 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 down, down, upon, down, down on her mm-hmm. i started uh, feeling uh, as if i was superior to her right like I, she uh, you've done her a favor exactly. almost yeah. um, if, if if she asked me a, a question i i i i i i i, I started feeling as if uh, she was uh, trying to 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 question, to, 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 to question me and control me mm. So it went so bad that uh, one day uh, we dis- uh, she she is one who decided that uh, she could not take it, 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 take it take it anymore and she just uh, walked out. Wow. And this was how far into your marriage? Yeah. That was about uh, we 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 had uh, we 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 had already had uh, our daughter. Okay. Yeah. Uh, she was uh, 10 months old. Yeah, one year, one year and, and two months. And, and two months. So it was about about two and a half years. Two and a half years into yes, relationship, years, relationship with about a uh, one year 10 month old yes. daughter yes. in the middle of it. Yeah. When you were coming to that decision to walk out, obviously that couldn't have been an easy decision. Yeah, it was. There's a, a young girl now in the middle yeah. of it. Yeah. And you know a lot of times we hear about relationships going sour and one camp is like leave, but then the other one is like no, stay because of the children. Mm. How did you finally come to that resolution to say you know what by the way I'm done I'm out the door Yeah um first because uh, we could not communicate that thing was making me to worry so much and um uh, I'm trying to ask him something and he's not answering me he's just quiet and uh, calm late he's, he doesn't want 
any he doesn't want to talk to me so that thing made me feel like now um like hakuna mapenzi mm -hmm. there is nothing no i'm just here like as if um, uh, as if i'm just nobody mm -hmm. so i felt let me just maybe give him time so i just decided let me walk out right yeah wow and for you when you saw her leaving the house that day you know were you were you scared were you like about to were you anxious or were you also just at a point did you also just feel maybe this relationship just won't work or what sort of emotions were you in were you trying to chase up the way uli kimbilia your phone number i've had it uli mfuata pia akitoroka akitoka nyumba ama what was what were your emotions too because uh, like and i hear you mm. that there's also that thing about an ego mm. um that a lot of men would face yeah yeah the, the ego in me the ego in me could not allow me to 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 run out of uh, out mm. of high in fact i did not even uh, i did not even care to know whether she went home to mm. her, to home to my mother or to her mother or to whatever mm. Mm. i just i just said okay fine uh, she she has decided she decided to go let her go yeah, yeah. and i thought that, uh, that uh, now i'll be happy Wow. Because now she is out of my life. Mm -hmm. She is not uh, what I she is she is what she is not what I expected. Yeah. So I thought that uh, now the, now caribou happiness. Mm. And did you uh, find that happiness? No, 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 I didn't. Okay. I didn't. I didn't. And for you, I mean, you're away. Where did you go? Did you go with your daughter? Yeah. Did you go back to your mom's, or did you now have to set up life on your own? Or? Yeah, I went back to my mom. My mom was worried, but uh, later on she told me, okay, this is what is happening, so uh, just give yourself time. Mm -hmm. Maybe he will come back, and uh, maybe we will talk, and uh, at least uh, see how things will work out. Mm -hmm. But uh, unfortunately, it, it took all those years. Yeah. Mm, yeah. mm. Well, let me read some of the feedback that we have on our Facebook page. Caroline Wamboy tuned in from Juja says, beautiful couple there with their kid. Their story is so inspiring. With God, everything is possible. Yeah. Iman James says, for now, I'm not in any relationship, but I'm planning. Maybe in future, God willing, I'm just following the conversation. And uh, Sizra Kalonje wa JM says, still following, but issue concerning relationship and marriage. It's only God to bless. Um, uh, if years were to be reversed, many people would change their steps and follow a different path. And I see you nodding mm. to that, Evans. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I think you've already acknowledged that too, yes, that, yes. you know, looking back, you see that you've already said, you know, one, there was perhaps ego was in the way, but even maybe a measure of expectations that were yeah. too high. Too high yeah. Yeah. And that is an issue that a lot of couples struggle with. And yeah. the thing with the expectations, either they have to be met mm -hmm. or someone has to lower their expectations. Yes. Right. And so um, even for, for, for you to, I guess, come to terms with that, when you're looking back now, what would you say are some of the things that you would have tried to do differently? Um, or, or some of the things that you'd have tried to work on in the beginning, or that now when you see them, you're like, hey, these ones, yeah. if we don't take care of them today, they're mm -hmm. going to lead us into, you know, a bad place tomorrow. Um, I think for me, um, if, 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 if we were to reverse and uh, go back to the, at, at the beginning, one of the things that I, that, I that, that, that I would put into my heart is acceptance. Mm. I accept now this is the time for me to get married mm -hmm. and this is the woman to marry mm -hmm. because without uh, without uh, if, without acceptance uh, uh, in, the, in the in the in the first place mm -hmm. if there's no uh, acceptance then there is no enjoyment mm -hmm. and uh, you you, you, ca you can't go in anywhere mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that acceptance is the one that uh, sets the motion in in, in, in uh, not only in relationships but in in, in anything that you do Absolutely. you accept first yeah. that here i am um number one i, ac I accept that this this this, this is my marriage. Yeah. This is my woman. Yeah. This is my family. Yeah. Number one, I, I put that into my heart. Yeah. I accept. And part of that acceptance then means hard work. Hard work. Agreeing to put in the exactly, work into exactly. it. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, my co-host is back. Come here, big boy. 
It's so cute. <laughs> you're like a little chocolate swirl. Oh, oh you're so adorable. We're going to go on break, but we'll be back with this handsome young man and this amazing couple as we talk about sustainable marriages and what to do when you have these issues. We want to hear about how they got back together after seven years yes seven years, seven years. <laughs> how incredible this and so much more in full circle it is yeah that's you <laughs> <laughs> it's you <laughs> Welcome back to Full Circle with Joyce, everybody. I'm here with a wonderful couple, Evans and Winnie. And uh, we're talking about marriage and the different challenges that uh, married couples go through. They've been sharing their story with us of how they met, then uh, got married, then separated for what turned out to be not one or two, but seven years. And at the time that they were separating, they had a one year and 10 month old daughter at the time and uh, you guys are really responding and resonating with their story here Lynette Onyango on Facebook says I believe that marriage is teamwork the scary thing is I never want to the, the scary thing I never want to go through is to walk out of my marriage uh, Njoki Mugo you say lovely couple very inspiring Nemo Essie you say nimekwa mahapo kwa Karibu happiness. <laughs> Yoka quote there when you thought that once she's out the door, you're saying Karibu happiness. <laughs> Vixie, uh, Vicky Dixon, you say, that's my family. I love you guys. You look amazing and your marriage is super blessed. Do you know that person? Yeah. Okay, good stuff. Pablo Escobar. Hey, Jamie. Hiya. You say, <laughs> my marriage... Ooh, my marriage falls apart every day. What will I do? Oh dear. Uh, hopefully we can address that even you know through their story. And um, Mary Mugo again. You say lovely family. Now guys, in the few minutes that I have with you, let's talk about. So she's walked out the door. At that time, you were saying to yourself, you know, happiness, caribou. But you're saying it didn't. That happiness didn't come. It didn't. Did you try and pursue other relationships in the time that you were separated? Yes, I I tried I tried one, uh, but um, I, I I I still there the, 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 the was still part of Winnie in me that that refused to to let go. But so um, I, I I tried, but uh, it, it did not work out mm. because I thought uh, that uh, Winnie was the problem. Mm. But I later realized to I, I, later, I later, later came to come to realize that I was the problem, yeah. not win. How did you come to realize that? Uh, because I tried m many things. I tried uh, uh, going to alcohol. I tried uh, going to different friends, mm -hmm. but nothing worked. Yeah. That happiness that I was looking for did not come. You realized that you had it with her all along. Yes, yes, yes. And for you, had you tried moving on? For me, because I was uh, with a baby, and uh, by that time. I have I had no job, so mm. I was very wanted to to work hard and look after my my baby. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so you were just focused on, on yeah, you and your daughter. Yeah, with my baby. Yeah. Okay. So let's forward then to seven years down the line. At any point within the time you separated and the seven years at which you now reached out again, had you tried contacting her? No no, 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 I hadn't. Okay. For me, I hadn't. So what happened that after <laughs> seven years, Mazeo Kam Katusi Kumodi, you're like, eh, this is enough is enough. I need to find this lady. You see, it, 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 it reaches a point where, where you find that uh, all you are doing is uh, suffering yeah. and causing suffering. Yeah. And uh, once you reach that point, that is where the ego starts uh, crumbling. Sure. Because the suffering isn't just to you and her. Yeah. You have a daughter even, as even, well. Even, 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 even the daughter. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So... I, I, I reached that point when I when I it, it was like a, an awakening. Mm -hmm. What am I doing? Mm -hmm. my, my 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 years are going on. I have a daughter out there. I don't know where she is. I have a wife out there. I don't know. I don't know where she went. So that, that that's when I decided, even if um, w what can me, I I have to get her again. Mm -hmm. Which I uh, which I did. Uh, so how did you how did you do this, Masi? I'm so intrigued. <laughs> how did you <laughs> how did you find her? 
I Please tell me you went back to her mom. No, 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 no. <laughs> this time, this time I used her sister. Okay. Uh, I, I <laughs> this sister. is a family affair. <laughs> family affair. You went to her sister. Her sister. She's called uh, Lucy. Mm -hmm. uh, she's the one I, I used to, uh, to, to, to contact her again. Right. And also to have some few, few nice words about me. Yeah. To, 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 to her. To her. Yeah. And did did the sister i mean she was open to you guys getting yes, back together yes, or was yes, she yes. very you know um wanted to keep you away because you know she was seeing the hurt already that had happened she she was she was very determined to to to, to see us back even yeah. even even her own, her own parents yeah they were like waiting yeah uh, for i mean we were happy all this time yeah we, we've been waiting for you we've been uh, you 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 are you are you are the you are the man that we know yeah uh, who belongs to our daughter right yeah. so i was very 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 sorry and i was very remorseful because i i realized the suffering that i was causing was even i was even extending mm, it mm, to them mm, mm. so i uh, uh, wh when that point reached i mean when when i reached that point yeah that now no more suffering yeah and no more and no more causing any any more suffering to anybody yeah so that is when uh, now I, I I made a uh, a, a, a very determined reconci uh, reconciliation effort, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which uh, which bore fruit. Wow, that's fantastic! Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. Winnie, you know, when your sister is telling you all these things, and he finally, you finally agree to give him that chance to just, I guess, meet yeah. and explain himself to you. Yeah. Um, in your heart, how did you? Of course, there's that. Yeah. You know when you're in an argument <laughs> and you know you're the one who's right? Yeah. Is that where you want to bring... Alafu? Alafu? <laughs> yes. Na yes. Na, 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 na. How did you find yourself or just find that grace to say, by the way, you know what? I need to forgive. Yeah. And I need to... I want to be happy too. Yeah. And being happy too means yeah. also releasing the people who... Releasing what people have done to hurt me. Yeah. How did you just come to that decision to say, I'm going to give this guy another chance? Yeah. Um... <coughs> Forgiveness, uh, it took me I those years even to think in my mind that maybe it will never work because even we have never talked. Yeah. So now coming back, it was like, what? Is he sure of what he's doing? So it, w it was really like, am I sure if I want to go back? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Am I, maybe it will be a mistake or, but I... Then God, uh, I'm prayerful. I, I could pray and uh, tell yeah. God, please guide me. Yeah. And also, all those years, it took me even with godly steps. I could just tell God to let me to let go the right. past. And are you seeing a change now in your relationship? Yes, yes. What are some of the things that you guys are working on to strengthen your marriage and, and that you'd use to encourage? I'm sure there's many other people. There's a lot of single moms in this country, by yeah, the way. Yeah. I've saw a lot of relationships that have gone sour. <coughs> and um, as we get ready to wrap up, I'd really like you to just spend a few moments encouraging fellow men and women out there who uh, have not had uh, great success in their relationships, yeah. but surely if you guys can do it after yeah. seven years, yeah. I mean, yeah. how beautiful is yeah. this story? What would be some of the biggest things you would share with our audience today? <coughs> one, one, one is to communicate and to let God, because uh, everything you have to com to tell God about your man, because uh, <coughs> outside there there are so many people struggling because of being read by themselves. Yeah. If you, you, you led yourself, you will go nowhere. So you let God first. Mm -hmm. Then uh, second thing, talk. Mm -hmm. Try to make, uh, if uh, you can sit uh, down and tell your man this way, mm. it's not going well, this is where I'm feeling I'm not comfortable. Yeah. If, if you can give each other a chance to, to talk. Mm and uh, listen to each other and uh, maybe take uh, if, even if you take time maybe to 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 decide that because men they have that thing of feeling no i'm not supposed to but if you communicate and uh, he will feel okay right. this way i'm i'm going wrong right. or maybe this uh, where I can change. Okay. Yes. Okay. And Evans, for you, what would be your sort of final words concerning this um, to our audience members, to fellow men, um, and even just restore that hope that, you know what, 
there can be reconciliation mm. and you guys look so happy yeah. now you have this beautiful son yeah. together yeah. Um, maybe your final comments as well okay my, my final comments would be um, accept put, put that put, put, if, if, if you cannot accept something you cannot enjoy mm. so if you want to enjoy your marriage first of all accept mm -hmm. that this, um, I am married mm -hmm. this, this, this is my marriage and, and it has to work yeah you, w w once you accept that there are, there are so many things that you won't do, yeah. there are so many hearts that you won't you won't extend to, to the other person, sure. and you, uh, you you avoid a, a lot of suffering to yourself yeah. and also to the to the to, to the family. Fantastic! Yes. God bless you guys. I'm so grateful to you. <laughs> Come, Papa. Let's say bye to the people. <laughs> He's so cute. Look at you. <laughs> Thank you both so much for yeah. being here and for your beautiful son and for sharing your story and just encouraging us that indeed, guys, you know, marriage does take work, but it works and yeah. it can be an absolutely beautiful yeah. thing. And as we wrap up, let me just read some SMSs here. Good morning, Joyce. A break in relationships um, is very healthy. I don't know about that entirely, Carol, uh, Caroline from Eldorish, but certainly for this couple, we thank God that they've been yeah. able to come back together. It's Someone true. else says the couple is an example to us. I can't Thank you enough, Joyce. Um, uh, someone here says, hey, Joyce, I've been struggling with, <laughs> let me read this one, an emptiness, thinking that my hubby doesn't love me. I've even sent lots of messages um, seeking help because I contemplated suicide severally. I thank God for his mercies. I have learned to forgive and love myself. God is working wonders in my marriage. And I thank you greatly. Thank you so much for that message, Leah. With that said, uh, Asante Nisana, you guys, we're going to take a short break as we bring in Benjamin Zulu to yeah. talk about toxic relationships. Say bye. Say bye to the camera. <laughs> bye. <laughs>